But before the ED answers, I'm just asking, in a, just a polite way, yes, to have a clear answer, is the cost of uh, a road in KCCA between 9 to 10 billion? Just that so that I, I it roots my question. I have a question, but I need You see, to. let me, may, how are we coming to that? For example, in this particular case, they contracted 14 kilometers, 14.9 for 149 billion. Now, 14.9, it, it, it is here. Now, for them, 149, 149. Now for them, they are saying there are other issues, drainage, road furniture, Signage but and but, the but honorable chair, honorable chair, a standard road should have drainage. Oh, oh, so certain, I don't know what extra it is giving. And that's what I'm saying. That's why for us, from an ordinary point, we are saying averagely a kilometer of a road for Kampala City Council, Kampala Capital City Authority, it is averagely between nine to ten billion. Chair, yeah, this one is ten point four. Point ten point six. So you can ask your other question. So ten point six chair, ten point six billion is the cost of the fourteen kilometers, whereby every kilometer is a must drainage is there, they are going to do this because that was an average that out of the fourteen, because to tell you fourteen kilometers you could find another area which is more clear, another area is more open, another area the drainage is obvious, it's a stretch. Why I'm asking this chair, I, sorry, I will borrow a leaf. If colleagues remember, we went to interview on the issue of Osimid. And the, it caused and raised eyebrows when a cost of a kilometer in Entebbe was 6 billion. And the argument that was given, they were going to beautify the mayor's garden, they were going to plant some flowers, they were going to put some, there is a decoration they were talking of. That's why they went to 6, point, point some, 6 billion. So, Chair, maybe for cases, since the others of six were going to beautify the mayor's garden and so on and so forth, maybe the 10 billion could involve something beyond the road. Could we know from them whether they are going to put some other resting <laughs> you see, building, whatever some, they are supposed to some put. flats? Whatever they are supposed to put is here. So, <laughs> That's why we are, we are spreading it through as an average cost. They are putting the houses somewhere for workers. We sound late. When you get the length of the road and you divide it by the project cost, we sound late. Maybe we task them. That's why I was looking at the item itemization. The itemization of each, what you are going to put in the drainage. Then we can compare to any road, maybe outside Kampala. Then we can look at the thickness of the asphalt we are talking about, and then the thickness of the asphalt in outside Kampala. Then we can talk about the length of the drainage, we can talk about the length, but here, Chair, uh, maybe... But you see, where do you want... Uh, I think for me, even you when... ask them to, pro to provide that. It's way. okay, but these things... They are also not magic science, and they are comparable. There are points. There are points. Because I've, I've done so many My economics doesn't. Let's, let's give them. Take me far from colleagues, the they are all on microphone. Let's let's give them uh, the space to explain. But for me, if you're telling me you are doing a road, a kilometer, you are putting 20 or 50 lights. There is a, a, a drainage. Our subsequent bulletins, NTV Akaungezi and NTV Tonight will be giving you the full discussion details of the Infrastructure Committee of Parliament this afternoon. Away from that, Butevo is among the districts still experiencing medical